here we go what's up with the playboys what's going on with the playboys what's going on out there in the land of youtube today do tell me what's going on i'm gonna get up and take a walk here for a minute i'm gonna call uh, deborah rogers in a moment i'm gonna give her a call how is everybody doing today let me see if i can get in a little brighter space here It'll be a little brighter over here on this side, over here. Give me one second here. Let me just move this over. Let's see if this is going to work out for us here. Okay. So, is that better? Oh, ooh. You guys want to have a good time? Ooh, this is going to be fun. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Ooh, hold on for a second. Hold on for Charlie, come on. This is going to be fun. Hold on to your hats. Hang on to your... Hang on to your hats. Hold on one second. We are going to the fun house right now. Um, I guess I could stand. Okay, one second. I'll be right back with you guys after this. Come on, Charlie. After this short commercial break here. Come on, Charlie. Charlie, come on. One second, guys. Go ahead, Charlie. Up, 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 up. Are you coming or not? <laughs> Are you coming or not, Charlie? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Woo. There we go. What's going on? What's going on with the Playboy Southern California style? What up? What is going on? So, lots of things to kind of talk about. None more, I think, than Deborah Rogers, who is going to be facing a hearing tomorrow. And we're going to find out what's going to go on with her and what's going on with her. How is everybody? Do me a favor. Everybody put OTVO, Overturn Terry versus Ohio, and let me know where you guys are watching from. And everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. O T V O. O T V O. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. What's up, Playboy? Jeff hates pigs. Katie's in the house. What's going on, Bruce? What's going on? What's going on? Hit the like button. I'm gonna wait. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button, please. Hit the like button, please. V Boyer, Jonathan Mitchell music. There's only 30 likes. We have more lovers than we do haters. You're just not hitting the like button. You're just not hitting the like button. And I'm waiting. I'm so patient. I'm trying my hardest. I'm doing my absolute best. So, um, you know, there are things to talk about. Uh, but I think right now, until we have some things really solidified, I'm not going to talk about things that are just pie in the sky maybe 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 right now i'm going to talk about real things and so you know i will address um last night you know uh that uh i will openly denounce kate peter and her troll mafia she has proven that she's running a mafia i've been contacted in real life a couple times physically by people uh both the guy named jl warren uh tried to get me arrested in Oklahoma, called the police on me in Tempe. And now last night, someone brought me to the point where I had to physically defend myself, defend my own personal space. So what's going on? What's going on with the Playboys? What's going on? Scrubzilla's in the hizzy. Louie, what's going on? Greg, thank you for the promo. I appreciate you. God bless you, sir. Tommy, what is going on, my friend? What is going on? What is going on, my friends? What's up? What's up? What's going on? Okay, so now let's talk about this. Um, if there's nothing pending legally, I've, I've really got nothing to say. And so you guys can take the videos at what you guys saw. And uh, Harrison, what's going on? You guys can take a look at the videos. Um, you know, if you guys email me anything, you can't, you, I, I will not click on PDFs. I won't click on images. I won't click on anything. I won't click on anything. It has to be a we transfer link or a YouTube link. And then I run that through a tester. And then I make sure that it's not a virus 
you know, what's up, Playboy? What's going on with the Playboy? Man, it is a beautiful day. I mean, I, I know that people are talking about like, um, but look at that. Oh, man, For, forget about the, the, just look, just look at that. Oh, baby, look at that. Just so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So um, I'm going to get Deborah on in a couple seconds here. And here's what I want to talk about. So, so what you guys saw last night, and I'm, I'm going to talk a, a little bit here because obviously it was extraordinarily dramatic and it was just so out of touch with what a civilized society should have to tolerate. It's beyond reasonable that somebody would, would act so atrocious that people around me were like, I got to get out of here. This is freaking me out. Right. And, uh, and so, so just so you guys know, um, what happened last night, I realized that that guy, he wasn't going to let me get away without physically interacting with me. And so just so you guys know what I did was, um, I did what's called a jab step. A jab step is what you do, uh, in boxing. I took two or three jab steps at him. And as soon as I took a jab step at him, I saw that his footwork was completely wrong. And so then at that point, you know, I knew he didn't have any skills at all. And so I ran him down and got him out of there. But it was only because I had imminent fear of my life. And I still do because remember, that was just one dumb psycho who, who came in, you know, unprepared this time. Because next time they'll come in prepared with a weapon or like they're saying in their discord, bear mace or a knife or a gun. That's why we have to openly denounce this thing called a troll mafia. That's the, it's a troll mafia that's out of control. And I think everybody should be reporting that channel. It's a troll mafia. That's what she calls it. I think everybody should be reporting that channel and what happened last night and reporting to Discord. And we're gonna be filing some legal uh, paperwork this week to those companies as well. So, you know, it was just an insane thing to deal with. But, you know, after I jab stepped at him two or three times, it was really abundantly clear that he did not know how to fight. Or even if he did take training, he didn't know how to defend himself in a real life situation where things started to go crazy. You know, um, I, you know, I wouldn't bank on anything, Tommy. I wouldn't I wouldn't bank on anything. Don't bank on anything until we see it happen for real in real life. You know, there's some developments as well going on that I want to tell you guys about. But until I have the ink on the dotted line, I'm not going to say anything. There's no point in celebrating anything until we have ink on the dotted line. And then at that point, we'll celebrate some things, but not until then. So, but there is some developments happening right now behind the scenes that I just can't tell you guys about because there's no ink on a dotted line here. It's all talk until you, until you do ink on a dotted line. Yeah, Bruce, you know, listen, I, and just so you guys know, it shouldn't have to come to that. You know, I shouldn't have to, everybody hit the like button right now. We're at 230 people watching and 42 likes. So hit the like button. Yum, yum. What's going on, Mikey? Les Paul, how are you? Good to see you guys. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. I'm still waiting. I got 45 moderators. Everybody hit the like button. Alpha Overseer, hit, hit the like button. Where is Waldo? Tommy, everybody hit the like button. Vincent Photography, smash the like button. Smash it, Scrubzilla. Just do it. It'll get more people out here. And then we got another 100 people in the room. So do me a favor. Just do it again. OTVO. Put it in the comment section. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. OTVO. OTVO. Plus where you're from. Put it in the comment section. Let me see where you're from with OTVO. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. Please write it right here. I don't care if you're watching this video next week. Put Overturn Terry versus Ohio in the comment section. Make it a mantra. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. We have got to get a drum beat. It, I mean, I, my, my resolve is double, triple, quadruple, 10 times more than it was yesterday. I don't give a flying what people are going to try to do to me. They are not going to stop me. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to kill me, and that's not going to happen. Hit the like button, G Jiminy Crickets. So I'm not going to stop. I'll never stop. I won't stop until we get the change that we have to get to. I'll never, ever stop. Okay. So thank you guys for your support. I appreciate it. News Now Omaha. Sure. Uh, News Now Omaha. I will reach out to you. Thank you for the super chat, my brother. I appreciate that. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. Just incredible.
I've got to give a... Let's get to... Uh, I will reach out to you, News Now Omaha. You have, you have my word on that. I will reach out to you. Do I have... Do I have the one and only Deborah Rogers on the phone with us? Yep. N- nice. That's actually true. I think I'm the only person in the world with that name. <laughs> well, Deborah, you never do know. The, in this world of deep fakes and, and everything is not what it seems and people aren't even what they seem often, you know, it's nice to get a genuine article like yourself who's a real fighter for freedom. So, you know, let's let's go back. First of all, um, everybody, I want to say thank you for Deborah. And Deborah, I'm sure, has want to say thank you as well. Deborah, how much money did the folks... Uh, donate and raise t- for your defense so far just over 1500 so we were at 1500 bucks paladin good to see everybody tommy how are you archangel so we're at 1500 we've raised 1500 we probably need to raise a thousand more she has a hearing tomorrow and then let's see let's see where we go from there but um so tell us about your hearing tomorrow deborah and tell us how you are now that you've ad- let's go one step at a time how are you now that you're out and have you readjusted back to life it was not an overnight I'm back to normal. It was an adjustment, um, for sure. Um, because it's kind of like you um, you get mentally accustomed to a routine. You get mentally accustomed to having to constantly, you know, be on guard and things of that Charlie. nature. Charlie, go ahead. I'm so sorry. It's like you cannot just like go home and you're good. You know, it takes a little while to kind of let that stuff go and and be kind of like it used to be. But I, I feel like I'm I'm pretty good now. So okay. And so, do you have any PTSD? Do you do you still wake up and think you're in jail? I don't wake up thinking I'm in jail, but I definitely have PTSD. Um, I still have. I I have been having a few nightmares, which I've never really had and things like that um i still can't verbalize some things that happened yeah okay so okay i mean do you feel like you wasted your time in there that it it just lost no i did not no i did not there were women that came to me they didn't want me to leave some of those women they were like we don't want you to leave we don't want you to leave so, really? Um, That's there, interesting. There was one girl that she was like, um, most girls come here to learn something, but when you got here, we all learned from you and stuff like that. They would come to me to ask for prayers and things. So, yeah. Wow. Wow. So tell us about your hearing. T- you know, um, First of all, you know, um, I want to say extra thank you guys to everybody who donated to Deborah. I'm, I'm just so grateful. I really appreciate you guys making this a, a possibility for us to be a a real. Absolutely. Go ahead. Absolutely. Go ahead, Deborah. I, I, uh, yeah, I spoke to an attorney today, and he's like, uh, for trial, um, bottom dollar, starting off is at least you know fifteen thousand. I think it's at fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred. I think it's at fifteen thousand. I don't know. It was just whatever it was. I didn't have it, so it was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Right. Um, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> so, well, but, well, you know. what's the hearing about tomorrow, Deborah? So it's a pre-trial hearing, and I was looking on the docket. And they have over two hundred um, people scheduled. So apparently, they're just going to rush us through like cattle. It's not going to be um, what you see on TV for sure. So um, who knows how it's going to what's going to happen? Um, I know last time. Um, I was told what to expect, but none of what I expected happened. Um, basically, it was just um, good to see you're here, and if you don't show up, we're going to put a rest warrant out, see you in court. We're going to have a trial. And I, you know, I was like, well, I'm supposed to get like a list of my um, of the witnesses. I was supposed to get this and that, and they're like, um, we'll mail it to you. Well, I got it after I got it. After I was in jail, I received it. It came in the mail. So that's how they work. Like. <laughs> kind of sabotage it to make sure I lose, you know? Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Well, you know, they should, from my perspective, they should call this time served and, and, and case dismissed. 
that you know you were in jail for 45 days i think at this point it was a misdemeanor the time has been served and the court should just forgive any infractions of the law that they're charging against you because you wouldn't have gotten 45 days if you had been found guilty of the crimes that they're alleging you did you see yeah um probably it typically that might happen but because I'm challenging the jurisdiction of the court and because I, in my opinion, I have proven that my challenge is substantial and therefore um, the rebuttal doesn't even face my my um, document. And so they're wanting to get rid of me so that this doesn't go anywhere else is my belief. Well, you would challenge so, your jurisdiction challenge to the Oklahoma Cherokee Nation would 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 fall because you would no longer have standing because you'd have no more charges against you well if they accepted the my if they said okay we'll dismiss based on jurisdiction then the tribe would dissolve basically they won't because it because it's challenging their government oh wow so not do that <laughs> hold on deborah let's uh let's let's there's a moment going on over youtube right now where uh, a guy named Jay Surreal, who was an auditor, passed away. So, you know, I just want to no. take, t yeah, I just want to take a I second for him. Jay Surreal and just, you know, recognize him for a moment. I, I do believe I have seen Jay Surreal's videos before. So, uh, really sorry. Rest in peace, Jay Surreal. God bless you and your family. And thanks for contributing to justice, man. I really appreciate what you did. And uh, that's really a bummer. Anytime someone dies that is an activist that actually films cops and tries to keep them accountable, it's um, really bad. So hopefully you're on a better journey and you're up with, uh, where, you know, America's famous for being number one in three things, incarceration, <laughs> cops, and people who believe in angels. So I'm one of those folks and I, hope and pray that Jay Surreal is living up with the angels. So rest in peace, Jay. Sorry for interrupting, Deborah. Just wanted to give a moment for Jay Surreal. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just, um, that's shocking news, man. I, I really watched him a lot. It's a bummer. Um, but, but so, yeah, um, so tomorrow's a so, pretrial motion, pretrial hearing, yeah. and, and they're going to tomorrow... What happens tomorrow exactly? Well, you know, um, we really don't know what's going to happen because um, what should happen and what typically would happen um, doesn't always happen the way you expect. So I would, I really just, I'm going in blind kind of, but pre as prepared as I can be. <laughs> Is anybody helping you? Is there someone helping you, even counseling you along the journey here who has some more knowledge? Well, I, I'm not getting like legal help. Um, they did assign me a person. Um, however, that person never reached out to me until I stood before the judge and I said, you know, I've never seen you. I've never spoken to you. Um, well, you, you know, can you can refuse that counsel and say that we haven't had any legitimate, uh, you know, you, you get a Sixth Amendment right to a, 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 a purposeful and meaningful defense. You, you have a Sixth Amendment right to have a meaningful defense, not just a defense. So if your court appointed attorney hasn't took, taken the time to meet with you, you can tell the judge, Your Honor, I don't feel like I'm getting a, a meaningful defense according to this, my Sixth Amendment right from the U.S. Constitution. I, 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 now, that's where I get hazy. Does, does the U.S. Constitution count there in that tribal court? Yes. As a matter of fact, the Cherokee Nation Constitution right off the bat says... We cannot do anything against the, the United States Constitution. So they have to base their laws based off the Constitution. Now, are they going to do that 100%? No. We've already shown, it's already been shown that they aren't. Um, they've broken several federal laws. I mean, just in my case alone. So we know that they're not because they're um, so then you can object to your attorney if you haven't had legitimate meetings with him to prepare a defense for yourself well that's what i said so when i stood before the judge i said i said this is the first time i've met this person this is the first time i've heard of this person and everything and then they changed it suddenly like wham 
now she's uh, your support counsel so that you can be pro se, but um, if you have any questions, you can consult with her. But at first it wasn't like that. And then then at the very last minute, they did a switcheroo on the judges. And, and so it wow. ended up being, oh, she's not your counsel. She's your support. Okay, whatever. So... Anyway, I, I just reminded him of the Indian Indian Civil Rights Act of 1968, where it states if you write a writ of habeas corpus and you're no you're not a threat to society and you're not a flight risk, uh, which was questionable because of my behavior the last time, which we discussed and sorted out that um, according to the that that federal act. Um, then I should be released, and so he did release me. So I am grateful for that. Yeah, cool. And and so tomorrow, you know, I, you know, I can't give legal advice, but you know, Deborah, you're, we can fight it best from outside that courtroom, like from outside that jail. So don't do anything <laughs> oh, trust tomorrow. Trust me, trust me, because you know, Marvin, bless his heart, he's just that good old boy that likes to just, you know, be hang out and watch TV, watch his YouTube stuff, and just chill out and go to work and, and just, just just enjoy life, right? Right. So I try to talk to him in code so because they're recording all the conversations. Because normally when you when you're in there in the jail and you have a, a an attorney, you get privacy, you're supposed to not be recorded and all of that. Well, I wasn't afforded that because I mean all of my conversations were basically regarding attorney stuff because I was having to tell him what I needed, what I needed, how, what I needed to do with the, the stuff I wrote, and how I needed him to do it, and thing, and you know, and so here they they're learning my strategy before I even get to file it, you know, and so it, I felt like it was extremely hard because he he wasn't catching on to all my code words, of course, because I know what I'm talking about, but right, you probably, or anybody else could probably know what I'm talking about because I'm talking in code. Right. So sorry for you. Right. Yeah. Oh, he did good. He really did good. There at the end, he was so exhausted, he couldn't think straight. But I mean, he really did great. Is did is awesome. is Wes No Fire gonna go to your hearing tomorrow by any chance? Um, I don't know for sure, but I will say this: if he can, he will be there. If he does not have a prior engagement that you know, just he cannot get out of, he will be there. So yeah. if he's not there. It is something that is very important is why he's not there. So, you know, Deborah's uh, Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are in the links there. Um, if you guys were think uh, so inclined, if you wanted to drop her five or ten bucks, we got to get her over at least two thousand. She's going to have to get like the twenty five hundred, five thousand dollar mark. So, if you guys want to drop her a couple bucks, if you're if you have the man, I mean, I know money's tight right now. Trust me, everybody's tight. So, if you got it though, a couple people are throwing up her Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. And so, oh, yeah. I, I hate to even ask, but I'm telling you, no, um, I I know that no way, this Los Angeles is a spike phenomenal opportunity to correct some things that haven't been right for over 75 years total, um, and I I don't know that the Lord is guiding this whole opportunity. So, if if you don't have anything, please just. If, you, if you're a praying person, prayers are more powerful, more valuable than any money or anything else. And I know that my God is in control. So, I mean, that's all I can say, really. I, as a matter of fact, right before Chili called me, I just posted a, a prayer on Facebook. And it was just from my heart. And, you know, I just... I don't know. Thanks, Vincent. I'm, thankful. I'm so, so grateful. So, for everyone. so, I really am. Thank you, buddy. Um, so, but Deborah, um, so, you know, I, I, well, how do I say that without, you know, you have your own mission. So I respect whatever you're going to do. I just, I would, I would, you know, first, thanks, Vincent, for the super chat. Appreciate that. Deborah, a little money coming in. And, um, <laughs> And listen, uh, I want you to fight your case. Uh, this jurisdiction over the Cherokee Nation and stuff, I know that that may be part of your mission, but first thing I want you to do is fight your case is what I'd like to see happen. Just get that, get rid of that criminal case. And then, you know... Guilty or if I'm found innocent, 
I can still fight the jurisdiction issue. Yeah, you still can. So, I just want that criminal case to go away so that you, you know, that, and then if you get, absolutely. you shouldn't even get put on probation. If you get put on probation, then they're going to arrest you later is what I think. Exactly. So exactly. to stop the whole thing, if you get you chase down the jurisdiction thing, which you could actually go through your probation and they'd arrest you anyway. I just, I think it's dangerous for you to go on probation is what I think, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, uh, God bless you tomorrow on your journey. I'm going to pray for you for sure. 100%. And I love yeah. you, Deborah, and I'm with you the whole way. And there's so many people, by the way, you know, uh, why don't we schedule some time with Wes No Fire where we can bring him on so we can talk to him too. Yeah, so, um, I don't have, you know, like, I feel, um, like I'm, I'm kind of bothering him when I call him, but, um, I know that, um, his heart is just, um, you know, um, in this, I, I will tell you this, I heard from a little birdie today that there were several of the administration, including the chief of the Cherokee Nation that was served because um, it's been a year or two ago, they all gave themselves these huge raises. And it was like this lifetime that they, it was kind of like if you're a congressman, you get this lifetime money and your children get to go to school for free and all this stuff. It's kind of one of those package deals. Now, in the Constitution, it says that anything like this must go before the people for the people to vote. Well, they didn't. They just did it themselves and gave it to themselves. It's totally illegal. And so <coughs> um, we do have a class action lawsuit against that um, action they took. That's great. For themselves. And um, I believe Wes is the, one of the leaders in that. Well, tell him we'd like to, you know, I've got his number, but let him know that we'd like to have him on live uh, soon. Uh, maybe after your your hearing tomorrow, because we're going to keep up with you again tomorrow and talk to you again tomorrow. So we're going to be we're going to be with you again tomorrow night, and we're going to talk to you again. You can call me right after your hearing if you want. We can talk right after it. Yeah. I want to know what they said. Yeah. I want to and make sure you get those transcripts from those court. You know, so. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. Listen. Now, I do have the transcript from the previous um, trial proceeding, but um, a friend of mine went to go get the video and. It disappeared. It disappeared. Yeah. It disappeared. It's a real shocker. Yeah, it's a real it shocker. My, my trial was the exact same day as the famous trial for the first civil lawsuit ever in the Cherokee Nation, and the guy and the jury awarded him six hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Now I'm sure that video is available, but my goodness. we don't stop ever. Yeah. Go ahead, Deborah. I, I just said that my video disappeared, but I'm pretty sure that that other person's video is fine and dandy. I'm sure yeah. it is. I'm sure it is. So what time is your court hearing tomorrow morning? 10 a.m. Central. Yep. Okay, 10 a.m. Central time. So that's going to be 9 a.m. here, Pacific time. Um, is that right? Is it 9 a.m.? What time is it there now? It's 518 here. It's 718 here. Okay, so it's 10 a.m. So it'll be 8 a.m. here. And then what time is that over? So, um, I'm pretty sure they'll probably get me, um, cause I usually go in the courtroom and he's looking at me and he usually calls me up pretty quick, Thank you. but you just never know. Cause you know, usually attorneys, when attorneys are there, they get first preference cause then they have to go somewhere else for later. Right. In the day for so it might person. be, might be noon no. or so. So that'd be 10 AM my time. I just want you to call me the moment you get out of there. And I do not want you to go to jail. I do not want oh, you to go no, to jail. No. I am. I don't believe that um, there's opportunity for me to go to jail tomorrow. Now he did tell me if I do not show up. Yeah, of course. That's it. That's, any, that's anybody. That's anybody. Not just you. That, that's all of us. And, and there's no reason for me not to show up. I'm going to show up. Yes. I mean, I've never not shown up. I mean, even whenever I pretty much knew no matter what they were going to put me in jail, I still showed up. You right. Know? Right. Okay, Deborah. Then I'll then I'm gonna wait for your phone call tomorrow morning. I guess it's gonna be maybe noon my time or 11 a.m. my time. I'm guessing, but I'll wait for you and then we'll jump on a live right away and let everybody know that you're okay. And that's what matters. No, no it, it may be that late, but it may not be. So okay. I'll text you first. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right, Deborah. Love you, honey. Okay. Love you. Everybody. Love you. Here, say goodbye to Deborah. Love you, 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 Deborah.
Love you, Deborah. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Deborah. Bye, honey. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Um, so, P. Rex is in the hizzy. What's going on? Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody. You know, um, here in SoCal, man, it's, it's, it is just such a beautiful place. Bye, Deb. Bye, Deborah. We love you, honey. Goodbye. We love you. Everybody loves you, man. We're, we're all rooting for you because you're fighting. You know, that's what we're, that's what we're all hoping for is that, is that you win. Tim Keener's in the hizzy. What's going on, Tim? How you doing, buddy? What's going on with everybody? What is going on? Shakur Capital's in the room. What's going on, Shakur? How are you? Dan, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Love it, Katie. The pictures of you in the shirt look absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a, a, a t-shirt call out here pretty soon. Have everybody wear their shirts. Everybody hit the like button. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for the super chat, Vincent. Thank you guys for the super chats that came through. I was, I was trying not to interrupt her too much, but it was extraordinarily difficult because, um, you know, I'm just so anxious. You know, every second she was in jail, um, it was really hard for me because I realized I was out here being free and she was locked up. It was really, really hard really hard yeah you know what you know i'll tell you that's the thing about southern california you know it's like this place you know you can do absolutely anything here so it's going to be right over there it's going to be downtown i don't know if you guys can see it from there but you know you can do absolutely anything here absolutely anything here <laughs> thanks vincent i appreciate it i can't wait you know i'm actually um I got some developments going on in my own life and I just can't say anything yet until it's done. And when it's done, I'll, I'll tell you every, I'll tell everybody what it is. I really will. I'll get into it. And you know, by the way, the guy's name is Dan Clemente. That's the guy's name who, uh, annoyed the shit out of me last night to the point where I thought he was going to, you know, try to punch me. So, um, uh, th thank you guys so much for being here. And, you know, Deborah doesn't have the same amount of support and love without you guys, you know, without you guys here, you know, she's, she doesn't feel alone because of you. Deborah does not feel like she's alone anymore because of you. So that's, you know, and a lot of people have, a lot of people reached out to her. A lot of people helped her. Uh, the guy that sent her the hundred bucks every week, every weekend while she was in there, Tim C is in the house. Good to see you. Wit twit. I don't know what you saw. Um, what's going on? Yum yums in the hizzy. Jonathan Mitchell music. Uh, great cuts last night. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. I put up anybody's video who made a video of Dan Clemente and they sent it to me. But I can't uh, download anybody's video. So if you guys want to watch the, they're in my community page. What uh, Jonathan Mitchell music and what rights on put together real fast. Uh, Chevy, what's going on? V Boyer, how are you? Scrubby, what's going on? Scrubzilla. Los Angeles Spike. Dan Clemente went to your high school, huh? That's pretty funny. Um, Dan Clemente, if you could get his yearbook picture, that'd be great. That'd be amazing. Uh, they seem to not have any boundaries. And so neither do I, you know, I, I just, I'll, I'll tell you guys this, you know, I gave, um, the troll mafia, a settlement offer today that was very simple. $50,000 remove every video, make a full apology. And if, and that was, the offer was only good today. Tomorrow, the offer doubles. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punish people who decide to do things that disparage other people. And there's a, I'll, I'll probably take most of the money that I'm going to get and I, will, and, I, and I will just continue to hammer her. I'm not going to tolerate these things. So I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm just plain and simple not going to tolerate that person creating that hate channel that has people coming to the street to put me in fear for my safety. I'm just not going to tolerate that. So the, that settlement offer I gave today is the one day offer. It won't be here tomorrow. So that's the lowest she'll ever get is $50,000. Remove all videos, give a full mouth apology, but she's not going to take that offer. And we knew that. So that's why we offered it. Um, and now uh, the settlement tomorrow offer doubles. And then 100,000 is going to be the lowest you'll ever get to. Because, um, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, listen, and, and then, uh, just so you guys know, um, I'm, I'll announce that other one I have. I've got another one coming up on the first. 
I have another one coming up on November 1st. I'll let you guys know what that is against another troll. I'm gonna keep going until I take every one of them down. Each and every one of them is gonna come down and I'll not stop. And I've got a list and there's only, there's only three more on YouTube and then there's three from TikTok who I'm gonna get in November. I'm just not gonna tolerate it. I'm, I, and, and I tell you, by the end of the year, there will be a reckoning. There will be a change. And, and that's what has to happen. We, we have to move into the light. The, the hate has got to come to an end. You know, I, I, it doesn't matter what anybody says. I'm just telling you. Yeah, I saw that, but let's see if, it, you know, ink has to be on paper. There has to be signatures that are laid. If there's no signatures, then there's nothing. Until there's a signature, there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to discuss. Until there's signatures on pieces of paper that we've reached an amicable settlement, then there's nothing to speak on. There's no, there's, you know, some friends are noticing some things going on on YouTube. There are some changes happening. And, you know, let's talk a little bit about that lawyer named Merb. Merb has doxxed my phone number. Everybody should have reported that video. The guy called Merb the lawyer. Merb Street. M-E-R-B-S-T. M-E-R-B 34 S-T. He doxxed my phone number. And now I'm in and I was inundated. My phone was inundated with texts and call, phone calls. Tons and tons of, of, of messages. Everybody should have reported that video from Merb who doxed my phone number. It's his highest, it's his number one video. The most viewed video of Merb's of all time is when he doxed my number. Merb's gonna face repercussions for that. And then last night, Merb went on some channel and he started to drop the F-A-G-G-O-T over and over and over. And he said how he, anybody have that, that stream from last night? Uh, I think that, that, that creator's doing some different things, but I'm trying to get the stream from last night that Merb was on. Yeah, Merb the homophobe. If anybody screen recorded that, I need that. I only got a tiny piece of it that I put on my community, but that whole thing is gonna go to the California State Bar. That you cannot be a homophobe and then hope you can say the N-word. Sorry, Merb. I apologize, Merb, but I'm reporting you to the California State Bar for what you did. I post a snippet of it on my community page. You can listen to Merb drop, drop the F-A-G-G-O-T word five times. Uh, you may be able to get away with that in Ohio, maybe Florida, maybe Tennessee, I don't know, South Carolina. You might be able to get away with dropping that f ought word for, for homosexual people, but I'm, I'm willing to bet right now that there are some gay people who are on the California State Bar board I'm willing to bet that right now. So um, I don't have his, um, give me one second. Let me check my text. Let me see if I have his bar number. If I have his bar number, I will post it because everybody needs to report this man. You're not allowed to say those things in California. Ah. Let's move forward, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Really. Okay. So, interesting, okay. I don't know. Let me check that. Let me see. Oh, let me see something real fast. No, no respond from the clerk's office yet. I don't, I don't have any response from the clerk's office yet, but I do now have, um, I don't see anything here. Nothing to celebrate here. There's nothing to celebrate just yet. Um, 
Merb's channel name, he doxed me. It's by the way, just look for the number one video where he invokes my name and reads something where he does the spoilation of evidence and he's in big trouble with the California State Bar. You can't do those things when you know there's an ongoing federal lawsuit. You dumb, dumb Merv, Merb. You can't, I mean, you're dumb, Merb. That you know there's ongoing federal litigation. You're not a very bright guy. I'm just saying. It was very dumb, Merb. You made a big mistake. And then he goes on that channel last night and makes all those racist comments. His, his channel is Merbst 34th. That's his... And that video right there is the one that doxes my phone number. So you need to report that video. He doxes my phone number. Um, I'm so sorry. That's the wrong one. It's... It's... Ten thousand views. That's the one. This one right here. On this phone. No on this one right here. He doxes my phone number, so everybody needs to report the video for a privacy complaint. That one right there. He does no right to dox my phone number. So, Merb, welcome to my vision, my friend. I'm so glad you're on my radar. So nice to meet you. So let's see how it goes for you. 10,000 views, Merb. You've never gotten 10,000 views on any of your videos. How'd you get 10,000 views? Oh, my name's in here. Oh, I forgot. Sorry about that, Merb. And then he's bashing Discussing Law again. He's bashing, dis you know, just so you know, Discussing Law destroys Merb constantly in his ridiculous uh, assessments of law. He's such a dunce cap. The guy's such a dunce cap. Oh, no. And then he just did another one. Chili finally got me another threatening email. No, Merb, I'm not threatening you. I'm reporting you to the bar. And you're dropping of a homophobic slurs and wanting to use the N-word. Oh, doxing is acceptable. PJ, PJ set net. Doxing is 100% acceptable. When I find out who these people are, I dox them. I'll dox anybody if I find out who you are and you're a hidden troll. If I find out any of their names, I'll let everybody know who they are. I'll put up pictures of them, just like they do for me. There's no boundaries here to your private information. No, no, no. My phone number's been doxxed, my address, my family, my friends, my investors, my coworkers, my girlfriends, my lovers, everything in between. There's no limits here. The gloves are off. And I highly recommend to Kate and her attorneys and, you know, as soon as I receive a letter that confirms that he is her attorney, then I'll speak to him, but I highly recommend that they take it. Yeah, report them for doxing my phone number. I didn't put their phone numbers out. I'm not gonna put their phone numbers out. I'm gonna put their identity out, not their contact information. I didn't say I'm gonna put their contact information out. I never said that. What I said is that I was gonna put their identity out because they hide behind fake names on YouTube. And so if I find out who any of them are, I'll put out their identity and, and their public records, but not their phone number, not their address. I think that's wrong. I do agree with her actually. Sorry, you got timed out. It was actually a good point that you were making there. I'm not saying I would dox their phone number or their address, I wouldn't. I'm saying that when I find out that, you know, you know, glass top, username when i find out who glass top is i'm going to of course let everybody know who the actual person is behind glass top which by the way we put in to kate peter that we want her to identify those people in her wicker account and identify those people in her discord account who they are who those people are because they're engaged in criminal activity so uh she got a she got a pro bono attorney you guys she didn't uh, she didn't hire an actual attorney she got a pro bono attorney that's what she did and that's fine. It's a, it's a good move. Good move, kid. But, uh, you know. You know, but she had a good point. PC net. I'm sorry you got timed out, PJC. Uh, the, they're just going to be super protective, as you, as you guys can see the reason why from what happened last night. So I do apologize to that person for getting timed out. I'm glad you made me clarify the point. What I'm talking about when I say doxing their information, I'm talking about their name, talking about their, their public record. I'm not talking about giving anybody's phone number or address out. I have not done that to anybody ever in my entire life, not once, ever. So, you know, and I've, I've had a... 
Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We're just going to file litigation. That's all I'm going to do here. That's, but that's fine. Go ahead. Troll me all you want. But what I'm going to do is sue him. So <laughs> welcome to it, brother. I'm sorry you made this decision. I'm sorry you decided that you thought you'd be cute. Oh, really? That's sad. Gross. That's pretty gross. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't block him permanently. Uh, take him out of permanent block, Mikey. Like, give, him, give him a chance. We don't know what he actually meant. Because if you permanent block somebody on my channel, I can't ever unblock their, their username unless they're in the last 400 people blocked. And then I don't, I can't unblock them. That's how, you know, people had to create new accounts. Uh, Yum Yum had to create a new account. Thanks, Mikey. There you go. Boom. Just like that. You know, the thing is, is that, um, so here's the thing, you know, um, so I had a back and forth uh, today with somebody, one of these guys who's uh, called a YouTube creator. And, uh, you know, they initially had written that they were working in good faith to close up the gaps here. And apparently they've decided to go the other way. And so what I'll do this week is I'll file a lawsuit against them. I mean, there's it, it, just, I don't have any other choice, you know. Wow, that's pretty sad, isn't it? That's pretty sad. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just, I just don't want to block people permanently because like uh, PJC, PJC Net had a good point about doxing. You know, I wasn't, I didn't, I'm not calling for doxing people's phone numbers and addresses. And then they got timed out. If PJCNet had been blocked, then they wouldn't be able to come back. And I don't want to block anybody until we truly understand they're, they're trying to spread ill will. So. I know it, Brian Lee. I know it, dude. I know it. It's, it's, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. You know. Yep. Yep. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. No, I've already got a couple troll. Uh, I already got a couple trolls who were, I already have a couple moderators who were previously, were, were, I have a couple moderators who were openly admitted previously trolls. And so, so I'm, I'm, I'm full on moderators. I actually just added a guy today who has been around for a long time and has been sending we've been communicating for a long time so you know uh, but i'm good on mods for for a while i've got you know um a bunch of moderators so yeah but i've never seen you before red Sox, so that's not going to happen dude you know that you know what i'm saying i mean silly wabbit's been around for a month or so and i wouldn't moderate silly wabbit yet and i really like silly wabbit a lot yeah pjc uh, pjc net i do understand what you were saying um, you know, they did timed you out because they're just being protective. You know what I'm saying? So, and you can check and see when the account was made and all that stuff. Oh, really, AL? That's funny. That's funny. It's okay, Red Sox. It'll take a little time, dude. Listen, this, they, these guys are tough, man. They're 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 they've been baptized in the fire. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button if you would, pretty please, with cherries and sugars on top. I'd appreciate that. You know, I you know I don't think people really understand that that the team and I were not going to stop. Oh, is that right? Um, yeah, spend a little more time, Wabbit. You know, Yum Yum was around for a couple months, a couple few months. I think, Yum Yum, when did you come over to the channel? I don't remember when you came, but I do appreciate you coming over and spreading the positivity. I appreciate it, Red Sox. It's a tough crowd here, bro. <laughs> it's it's going to take you a while. I just tried to do a negotiation with one of these uh, people today, and apparently it was all just a big game. So let's not, let's see what happens. Let's see how that works out. I don't think it's going to work out quite how they, they think it's going to work out. I don't think so. So we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop. No. End torture cuffs. You know, let me talk to my buddy about that website. You know, Chris, I, I, I saw it the first time, man. You know, it, it, we, we got it the first time, man. A lot of people in here, they understood what you just said. So I appreciate it though, man. 
So anyway, listen, I, I just got to get back to my thinking here and what I'm trying to plan here for the next three to six months that I got to get done. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen mama twist before either though. So thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. There's always going to be people. There's always going to be weirdos. I mean, you guys saw how weird that dude was last night. That was just crazy. What's going on, people? News today. Good to see everybody. Once again, uh, you know, rest in peace, Jay Surreal. I mean, that's just really sad. I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go deep dive right now. I think on a few Jay Surreal videos. You know, and just just watch a few dozen and give them some likes and some comments. And you know, let's let's do that. Let's let's all go over to Jay Surreal's channel. And uh, let's all just dump a bunch of likes on his videos and hearts. And let's, even though the guy is no longer with us here today and, you know, these trivial, tiny, ridiculously silly things that people care about in today's world, you know, let's, let's still go over to Jay Surreal's channel. All, even, even the trolls who are watching and people who hate me, Jay Surreal passed, but he was a real hero in this effort for transparency and activism. So, you know, let's everybody go over to his channel when we end this live and dump a bunch of hearts and love and like his stuff and drop comments for him and you know let's let's just let's just really really share the love with jay surreal you know let's just share share what, that we we cared about him yeah and he's you know he should continue to get money from his videos so if we watch his videos tonight you know maybe i'll turn on my live again later you know but that's fine anyway i gotta jump off this i gotta make a phone call to one of my buddies who i'm working with and uh, see if he's available. I don't know if he's going to be available. Tim, good to see you. Golden State fan, nice to see everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming by. If you haven't gone by the Delete Laws store and got yourself an indestructible trifold, make sure that you have one in your car. Uh, I'm always going to have one. Uh, Chuck, uh, what's going on, buddy? I was talking earlier. Uh, what's going on, J JMM, Vincent Photography? Good to see you, PJC pjc net good to see you silly wabbit thank you i appreciate you god bless you I, I it's such a crazy world isn't it silly wabbit um but i was talking earlier about end torture cuffs and so um i want to have a discussion with my friend about end torture cuffs when i get off this live i'm going to reach out to to that person and see if uh, devil dogs good to see you man god bless you nice to see you todd nice to see you tommy brett thank you guys appreciate you appreciate you guys who are coming kev good to see you man and anyway, i'm gonna get the flock out of here and i will see you guys on the next one what's up playboy what's up playboy we don't stop 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 otvo overturned tear I'll, I'll get the hoodies back in stock because it's getting to be winter yeah i've got some hoodies in stock yes good idea i'll put the hoodies up i've got some in stock i've got overturned terry versus ohio hoodies in stock i'll put them up on 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 the website love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one